released in the firebombing case from Clayton County. Check out this video here. We just learned earlier today that one of the women inside that house right there works for Clayton County Schools. 11 Alive's Tracy A. McPeer brings us the very latest from Riverdale. Neighbors tell us they woke up Saturday morning to this house burning, and the police tell us this fire was no accident. Everybody was sleeping. We actually did not hear anything until the fire department was spraying our house from being on fire. Lakasha Long lives right next to the house police say was firebombed. It was so powerful that her own house caught fire. When it happened, we just thought that maybe a fire happened, you know, like maybe they left something on and it caught fire. And when we found out that it was arson, we were in disbelief. Police say two women were inside the house on Derby Drive when it happened. Both Adrian Zachary and Adriana Swanson were taken to the hospital. Swanson with burns on her face, neck, and hands. Now, police are releasing this ring video showing the firebomb go off and then a man running away. A neighbor says the man was spotted wearing a black shirt, white shorts, and a corona mask. Long says all the neighbors will be on edge until the fire starter is found. Whomever this is, they need to be brought to justice. Now, if you know anything about this firebombing, you're asked to reach out to Riverdale Police. In Riverdale, Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News.